Hello guys and welcome back to my channel where today I'm going to be showing you how you can easily create a physics based door in Unreal Engine in just a few minutes. The great thing about a physics based door is that it can be opened not only by the player but also by an NPC. So let's get started right away. The first thing you'll have to do is make sure that you have the starter content imported because we are going to use the door models from the starter content. If you don't have the starter content, you can go to add, then click on add feature or content pack and then you can go to content and select starter content and then just click add to project. I already have this so uh, I'm just gonna skip this but yeah you, you definitely need those assets. So the first thing we have to do is we have to open our door and we have to add a collision to our door. So I'm gonna add a box simplify collision and as we can see uh, in my case this already has uh, pretty nice dimensions but I will make it uh, a little bit smaller like this and I'm also gonna make it uh, a little bit smaller in this direction so that uh, the collision box of the door doesn't interfere with any other uh, collision. This just uh, helps you prevent some like weird collision box. So uh, I like to do this, but you can try whatever works best for you. Now hit save. And uh, now we can start with uh, creating our actual blueprint. So we're gonna create a new blueprint class, uh, make it an actor. And I'm just gonna call it a uh, fizz door because I have a lot of doors already created. So, yes, we're gonna open this. And um, now we are gonna drag in our assets. So, first our door frame and our door. We have to adjust the position of our door so that it's nicely in the middle. Uh, I would recommend you turn on snapping for this, it makes it a lot easier to get it r right in the middle. We have to remove the collision from our door frame um, so we don't get stuck there. So we just go down to collision and uh, we choose no collision. Great, now we can start working on our door itself. The first thing we have to do is to click add and now look for physics constraint. Make sure it's under the door. You can leave this, call this however you want, but it's very important to drag this right to where you want the hinge of your door to be. I think this is uh, about good. Then you're gonna scroll down to linear limits and all of these should be locked. Um, but when it comes to swing, you should also have everything locked except for swing one. And this should be limited. And as a limit, I'm gonna use 100. I think it's a nice value. It, this way it will open enough for you to go through, but it won't go too much all around. Um, now we still have to rotate this physics constraint. So if you have uh, 90 degrees snapping, this is just like this. Next, you have to go to angular motor and change the angular drive mode from slurp to twist and swing. And you're gonna tick only the swing. Target orientation, you can leave this more or less as it is. So before we hit compile, uh, there's two more things we have to make sure. Uh, one thing is under the physics constraint, uh, under component name, you have to write the name of your asset that uh, uses this physics constraint. In this case, it's the sm underscore door. So I'm just gonna put this here. And, uh, and for the door, we also have to tick simulate physics. So it simulates the physics, of course. Uh, now we can compile and save this and we can try it out. And as you can see, 
this works perfectly. So one more thing you can do to better control the movement of the door is to add angular damping. I, right now I already have a little bit, by standard it's at zero, but I'm just gonna put five because uh, I think that's a very pretty nice value for the angular damping. I'm gonna hit compile and save. And now if we try this again, as you can see, the door swings around a lot less. And of course, you can put the angular damping higher or lower, depending on how you want it. But yeah, that was basically it for this tutorial. Uh, I hope you learned something. And if you did, feel free to let me know by liking the video. And if you don't want to miss out on any future tutorials, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And yeah, I hope I see you in the next video. And until then, bye bye.